Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Lena's Inception. So, uh, I found something unusual. Yeah. So this is uh, a thing called a hover potion. So if I hit... I now have a hover potion. Which means that I can push this here. And then quickly go here. And that means that I should be able to get over here now, right? I don't know if this does anything for me, but like... Oh, whoops. Oh, well. And now I can get through here. To here. Yeah, alright. Oh, huh. Okay. Let's put that there. Okay. So that isn't working. Okay, there we go. Much better. One of those snoils poisoned me as well. Okay, so let's see here. We push this here. Hmm. So if I wait here, I should regenerate health as well. This is the hardest block pushing puzzle I've seen yet. Luckily, there's hearts in here. I just tap my glasses on this thing, on my mic stand, sorry. No, didn't think so. Wait, maybe I'm trying to get up there and not to here. God. So I, I checked to see if there actually are unbeatable seeds. Uh, as it happens, there aren't. Yeah, so then I should just be able to push this, right? Hey, I did it! That was dumb. I was trying to get to him. I should have been going up there. Thank you for saving me. Maxwell, I'm glad you're okay. I'm famished. We'll be near the cafeteria upstairs. Let's talk. All right, and this episode just keeps getting longer and longer. And he has the key. Interesting. Okay, mm, that was good. So welcome to my lab. How'd you end up in the basement, Max? He's my lab assistant. he have been doing some dangerous experiments. I remember you wrote to me about this. I tried to stop him and he turned my own earthquake machine against me. It's an impressive machine. You've got to experience it as well, don't you? That wasn't what we came here for. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a dungeon. That old thing? I stumbled across it when I was installing the Quake Master 2000. I can get you in there, but you have to find your own way out. Follow me. Cool. Um, I guess that's the start of the next dungeon, then. Shit. Alright. Stand on the plus when you're ready. Well, I guess I'm ready. Should I start her up? If you want Delvin down there, let him know he's fired. I'd love to. You can pull the bow back. 
and make it do more damage. That's cool. I did that by mistake. I didn't even mean to. I just noticed that it's glitching all over the place. Nice. Good job. I guess I'll go this way. Cool. Um, now that I'm actually looking at this, I might have to split this into two parts. Make a, make a fourth part, you know? Like, I don't intend to, but like, damn. Oh, you can trigger their explosion. With the flies. Nice. Cool. Dominant. Cool. Perfect. All right. So yeah, we're coming to the end of it. Which I am pleased about. Um, but yeah, as it happens, some seeds are not incompletable, but they can be very difficult. Glitch city? Coordinates event. Oh gosh, what happened to this place? This is that side of the map though. So we're here now. Memorial Tomb of Horror. It's a two room dungeon like that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to split these into like two. Did that say Archangel Atrium as opposed to Archangel Ventricle? That's clever, actually. All right, so what else do we have here? That guy's just tripping out. Okay. Up leads to here. Wow, yeah, this is, this is definitely gonna be its own episode. I did not anticipate how far this is gonna go. Jesus, it just keeps going. So those doors are fake. Crenellated Grottoes of Grief, and it has another way out. important thing to me now is that we kill it, because I, uh... How many of these do do I have? I've got five now. Right. So I learned that there's also a whole bunch of, like, achievements, and it's apparently possible that, uh, to do it, to play this game in a way where you don't need to kill the bosses. Which I kind of didn't expect, but considering it's a game that's subversive and you know, is aware that it's a video game that came out after Undertale. I guess it isn't that surprising. Nice. Okay, so this will probably lead to that area that I couldn't access before. I thought I was going to get something that would, like, clear glitch shit so I could go freely. Interesting. I'm really curious as to what these algorithms look like. I'm sure I couldn't make head nor tail of them, but they'd be interesting, I think. Yeah. 
Um, God, so I can't get there. Yeah, apparently this game has three endings, which gives you more reason to replay it, which is good, I think. Because, like, typically, like, that's that's a really good thing to put in a roguelike. Okay, so from south, does this lead anywhere? Interesting. Cool. You're freaking me out, dude. These do nothing when you click on them. That guy's just going in a loop. This is really weird. This is really cool, though. Uh, and then that just leads there. Okay, cool. Let's get back in, then. This is one of the most interesting games I've played all year. Alright, so... This is a big dungeon. Excuse me, everyone. Oh, we gotta kill him. Okay. Yeah, like, I've been saying it all LP, like, fantastic game, great art style. It even has another art style, which I haven't even used. The fact that it has multiple endings, uh, you can use that power of compassion thing that I haven't been able to figure out how to use. Yeah, you can use that to uh, kill bosses non-lethally. Which means that you can spare the bosses. Allowing you to, you know, get out of fights without killing them. Which completely changes the ending. Uh, because I've already been killing them, I have to continue killing them, I think. Or, it's not that I do, it's that killing even one will get you a different ending. Wow, those two guys just committed suicide. Rather death than fight Lena. The baddest bitch in sound. I haven't seen anyone talk about this game. So, this place looks like it's blocked off, but then again, it has a door and a little thing. So maybe I'm supposed to just... Just Katana Skeleton. And this here is a dead end. Yellow Tunic. And Lena's such a cute character, you know? It's a healing tunic. Interesting. So can I warp? Here, nice. Also, I can't get out now because the entrance is here. Thank you, Paige, for keeping that shit off me. Oh, blue key. There we go. Uh, okay. All right, pachum, pachum. Yeah, I'm normally really good at the block pushing puzzles. I'm not really sure how I was supposed to figure that one out. Um, I guess it is possible that the game does expect you to just grind until you get uh, like a hover potion and then take it. But like, I, I don't know what I was supposed to do. So I'm gonna get hit actually on purpose here, and I'm gonna see what this uh this healing tunic does. Okay, that was inconclusive. Alright.
You know, the more that I go, the less I actually need to fight enemies. Which to me means that I should really just start sprinting through these guys. Okay, this thing has treasure in it. So let's just get these guys in the corner and start shiving them. Oh, it's the, that's convenient. But yeah, I would love to see, I don't know, maybe not a cleaner version of this game. I, I like um, I like all the mechanics and pretty much everything about it. There are some things that really bug me. Um, like, there, there are things where like the game is still completable with a really bad seed. Yeah, there are things where the game is still completable with a bad seed, but, like, it's not easy to do. And, like, you have to... Sometimes there will be key items that are placed behind other things. Nice. Old Grotto's of Loneliness. Also, this might just be a me thing, but, uh... Okay. All right, who are we fighting, boys? God damn it, you again? Oh. Never mind, it's not them. It's the poison men. What? Phoenix ash. It might affect certain animals. Probably my chicken. Henrietta. Well, if I ever have the chance to see her again, I'll be sure to give it to her. But yeah, it's also possible to get uh, certain sequence breaks, and in fact, there are Steam achievements available for doing so. That's a big boy, huh? But yeah, so I don't actually have the Steam version. I got this on Ichio, like I said. killing these guys it's because they're a cool looking challenge but I don't actually need to kill them okay let his inception skull only run All right, let's start shiving them Also, the pain and like damage noises is starting to grate my ears a little bit. They're still okay. Um, the sound design is on like possibly the weakest part of this game because it just it sounds generic. It's not super new. It's a little like it's not awful to listen to, but it could be better. Nice. Trash that fool. But yeah, I'm not sure if this is, like, the greatest game of the year. I'm not even sure if it's the greatest roguelike of the year, because, like, very unfortunately for this game, Hades came out the same year. This is a dead end, apparently, but there's glitch stuff there, but... You, okay. So I must get something to... Am I gonna have to blow it out? Like, there's that fridge! Am I gonna have to blow it out like in Homestuck? I've already faced these guys. Glasses. Missing glasses. Some cool shades put them on to reveal another dimension, I think it says. Use the bicycle if you get stuck. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I like wrapped around. Okay, this is weird. Yeah, that's uh, that's strange. 
it's gonna take a little bit for me to be able to wrap my head around the use of that. That's uh, that's confusing as all hell. Um, I might start skipping stuff in this dungeon, but like I've already resigned myself to like not completing this on. So what do these guys look like? Oh weird. Wait, am I just seeing enemy spawns here? Oh, that's so weird, man. Alright, so, I was focusing in hardcore. Out of arrows. And yet I've somehow ended up with a lot of hearts. Oh, it's the healing tunic, isn't it? This is a really weird mechanic and I don't fully understand it. Yeah, I totally don't understand this. So all of these things exist in the other world, in the glitch world, as different objects. They're a unique type of object. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, um... So we've got this now, and this isn't in, this isn't the thing that does damage. So when we go to the boss, Hadesaya, vampire magician, like whose attention will make a human disappear? Okay. Make a little pass. Okay, well that's fair. Hatasaya. Hatasia. So am I just supposed to... This is bizarre. I don't understand what's happening here. I fully understand, at least. Like, I know I'm fighting like a vampire magician and scooping out hats out of his bat. Yeah, sure, that's what's happening. Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, I have to choose a card. This is... this is... What? Oh! These are things. He's here! Of course. So the projectiles exist in both worlds, as does he. And then sometimes he moves, so he only exists in one world. He leaves this plane of existence. Okay. Oh, I can't possibly track that. There you are, you son of a bitch. Nice. That is a really fucked up design. I'm not saying it's not cool, it is. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. making me float. 
Jesus. This is so... Dude, this is... It's like... Is this a new remix? Because this, this is like slaps. He's like overlapping the world. Um, well, I found the path forward, and I'm definitely going to make this its own episode. So uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. Hey, everyone. I'm back. Before we get back to this, I would like to bring up... Yeah, this is the uh, official wiki page for this guy. He's a boss where the player obtains the item. Now, it could be that that uh, weird spelling of item is intentional. Uh, because of plot reasons, but also it could just be that no one has updated the wiki. So I've got here, I've got a decent chunk of health. I took a little break to try to read up. I swapped the hop out for the shield. I'm just focusing in hardcore on trying to beat this guy. This appears to be where the, uh, the three come in, you know? You gotta hit a boss three times. And annoyingly, these guys are only dropping coins and not hordes. There's also, um, one of the upgraded swords is a sword that will make it so you don't stop running when you swing. Fuck. All right. Well, let's try a completely raw attempt. Like, I'm not even sure... Is any of these meant to... kill him? Atasia. So you can also hit these things and get them to stop following you. But you have to hit them while they're as far away from you as possible, otherwise you'll take scratch damage. Okay, now that thing I'm not sure exactly what to do. I'm trying to follow with my eyes. It's that one. Damn. That one's not too hard to avoid. So you just have to be pretty far away from them, otherwise you'll take damage. And then he usually only spawns them while he's over you, or while you stop moving. Don't even know where it was. Oh man, I missed it. Could have gotten it. And this one's the easiest to avoid. And yet, still a dumbass. All right. Take five, I think. See, what if I just get in here and just. Try to whittle him. Oh, his eyes glowing. Jesus. So every time you hit him, he spawns bats. Bat slimes, I guess. And he's also indestructible currently. That's three hits. Oh, nice. the angel's warm, pulsing heart permanently increases your fortitude. Hey, we got them all. All right. Do I save my students now, or is there going to be some twist? Power of truth. Power to see through deceptions. 
Corrupted Memory 7 was restored. Only partially by the looks of it. Lena's Inception. Elder, I'm here about your phone call earlier. I couldn't talk at the time. My boss was listening. Yes, yes. Do you have anything that'll keep Lance safe for a few more years? I have something here that'll change everything. Looks like one of those full powers. Did you recover the power of true son? I'm impressed. It's much more interesting than that. Eight Fridge <laughs> is a weapon of unlimited potential. A genie that can grant any wish. As long as you can speak the language. You'd be better off taking a scam someplace else. Look around you, lad. I don't have that much money. Good pitch. Reminds me of... It's not a scam. Just watch. I've configured it to make me the most powerful being in the world. Or really, more powerful than Archangel... Uh-huh. I think I know what Archangel that is. This is Archangel Lena. That's why... That's why all the students in the start of the game have items that relate to the bosses. I read that in a guide, but I didn't really understand it. Yep. Oh my god, that's so cool! That's why she has the little devil horns! So... No, I won't let you hurt my students. So Dev... What's his name? Devlin? Devlin switched him and Lena. So now Devlin's the Archangel. Of course. So Devlin's the Archangel and Lena's now just a regular NPC like Devlin was. It can't be true. I can't be a monster. I'm not a bad... But I was. I've hurt people. I remember. It felt good. That... I don't care. My pupils. My pupae. <gasps> I killed them, there's no saving them now. And the chairman's coup is my doing. I have to be better, I have to fix this. You've done well to get this far, Lance. Cut it out, I have the power of truth now. I know that's your voice, Devlin. All right, I won't deceive you. You caused this mess. How many people have died because of your power envy? And on top of that, you had me kill my own students. First, I'm gonna dethrone the chairman. I'll admit I made a heartless error using him, but I intend to put a stop to that now. He'll be at the pal- After I defeat him, you and I are gonna find a way to fix the glitches you've caused. Click. Devlin, you have a lot to answer for. I mean, yes, Lena was evil, but she was a villain in a video game. You know, every story must have a villain, such as the nature of it. Like, Lena has to exist. Like, I don't think Lena is bad for existing in a world that has villains in it. Wait, can I just... I can. Oh god, that's, that's breaking everything. Okay, can I leave this way? Okay, I can. <laughs> Dude, that's like super busted. Who's this guy? Aren't bears the best? I would just love a bear-based keepsake. He's probably someone on the uh, on the the big side quest deals. Uh, let's swap this. I'm, I'm keeping that on because that's useful. P and jump. Nice. Oh man, I should have figured it out earlier. That's why she has the red hair. So I can go here now, right? That is a really cool twist. <laughs> uh, I like that you're essentially the villain. I mean, not essentially, you were the villain. That's a really cool, like, I love that. Um, I might prefer this to Undertale. Oh god. Um, Undertale's good, you know. I'm not saying it's not. But, uh, in terms of, like, things where the hero exists in a very specific place in the story, I might prefer this to Undertale. Now, lest we go too far, I also prefer Delta Rune, uh, and the similar RPG off to Undertale, which I may end up playing uh, after this. 
in a while, you know, not not soon, but wow, yeah. So you can just you can just ghost walk. I can just go anywhere now. I just realized, like, I keep having to remind myself how much power I actually have. Like, I could probably get into here now, right? By doing that? Yeah, I can. Oh, man, I have... No one man should have all this power. He's locked us all out. I like how they have, they look like chess pieces. I knew it was a bad idea to let the chairman take over. Yeah, come on, bring that on. Astro Palace, no entry without invitation. Wow. My mind is being blown. Wow, yeah, so you can just really get around places, that's cool. The course of my year, I've cut down hundreds of trees. Found small items, baddies, sometimes even wood. Never found any secrets. I don't think there are any. I'd be happy if you proved me wrong. Axe. Cut some wood for me. Chop, chop. Um. Okay, knowing that this game is as deep, like, much deeper than I thought it was. I don't know if I'm actually going to do all the side quests. I intended to, but, like, this game is a lot more than I, uh, originally thought it, that it would. So we can just go this way, right? Wait, I know. Oh my god, I wrapped all the way around. Whoops. Wait, so now I can just because I wrap around, and then I walk this way, and then I go this way. Bro, this is the fucking craziest shit. <laughs> Away, big butt spider. Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> okay, so if I go this way... Then I can go here, grab this meteor. That is such an awesome mechanic. What is this guy's deal, huh? Okay, so where am I actually at? I'm going this way and up. locked us all out. So how can I get in here? No diving. What happens if I dive? Yeah! Hell yeah. Okay, I don't want to say it just in case I jinx it, but this one should be the last episode. Okay, so... Oh, that's a pit. Pit? <laughs> Dude, this is so wild. The amount of control that the player now has. Oh, that's fun. I'm I'm stunned that they allowed people to like tear apart the game like this. Right, now, there aren't many guides for Lena's Inception, and I also try to not get spoilerized. But I will say, one of the few guy... Interesting. Statue's badly damaged, the plaque not be red. Power of Wealth, kept as capital by the lar... Do they all just say the Power of Wealth now? Yep. Crypt to be locked at all times. Is Jesus in here? Oh. 
strength potion. Where? Some notes, calculating the pay for the palace guards. Last number in the column written in red. He couldn't afford to pay the guards to defend the kingdom from his creditor. I think we already knew that. God, this level of fourth wall breaking is so cool. Like, the, the shit where Deadpool's like, hey, I'm reading a you're reading a comic book right now, huh? And I say swear words. Ooh. The fucking comics code doesn't like that. Oh, wait, they don't exist anymore. Eh, you know? I think that's cheap. I don't like that as much. Ooh, they're all, like, bony now. That's cool. But this kind of fourth wall breaking, like, where you have characters walking from one comic book panel to the next... And like, in in the universe of that comic, that means that like they're warping space and time around themselves. Whoa, Prince Daniel, are you here to rescue me? Don't, not yet. I'm safe from the skeletons behind these bars. You'll need the blue key to stop the chairman. It's in the jail, but the skeletons built a wall to keep out the heroes. He's not moving, I wonder why. Well, for Lena, walls have now become mostly a suggestion. There's a few that, uh, that kind of Act is a little sticky wicked for me. He's not moving. Sorry, I just hit the wrong button to try to sword slash him. Okay, so we need the blue key. Hmm. I don't know if I mentioned- I didn't actually know that I think of it, because it was this very same episode. But I really like the uh, the animation whenever Lena starts using her, like, fly- like, a, whenever she drinks the hover potion. Oh, cool. Now it just opens. Don't get a map of it, unfortunately. But yeah, whenever Le Lena uses a hover potion, she just, like, spins wildly, and I think that that's really cute. Lena's really cute as well. Like, Lynn is at least a lesbian. But hey, if, if she's bisexual, like, please. Leave your video game and TM me. There is nothing wrong with evil demon girls. Hot room. Arrows, nice. Okay. Did we look at this computer? Okay, we did. Got it. Would you like to hear everything I just said again? So these become... I wonder if it's important what these become. Oh god. Jesus. Like, even this power is a little much for me, right? Whoops. Like, I have to be very careful with it to make sure I don't, like trap myself somewhere. Like, the game makes, uh, does a very good job of making sure that you at least have the bicycle before you get here, which is good. And I still don't have a map. Okay, so that's the dungeons. Dead end. Like, the fact that you can wrap around is so cool. <laughs> so what happens if we go into here and dive? Okay, so this leads to here.
I'm in a void. Oh god, my poor companion is just trapped. Okay, so I don't know how to get through there yet. Oh man, this is... This is like starting to hurt my head. Like I'm legitimately having trouble wrapping my brain around all this. Okay, so if I go this way, I should end up in the... Yes. And now I'm able to freely walk around down here. Hit him with the axe. Damn. Okay. All right. Powerful. Oh yeah, so... Okay. Graveyard, eh? Whoa! Secrets in the graveyard. I mean, if there was to be one secret in the graveyard, it would have been the one that I would have found, right? Okay. Oh, that's just a pit. I was hoping that it would be a cool, fun secret. So I probably can and should put the strength tunic back on. On account of uh, the strength that it provides. Twin monarchs Edgar and Alan devoted the protection of all life as they were to each other. Aw. Oh my god, I just looked over here. That's Lance. None of this was supposed to happen. He's just an entity. This wasn't supposed to happen. Mouse misaligned. Oh, now we're here. What? Oh, damn it. It just brings us back to here. Okay, but that's a reset, I imagine. A little teleport pad. Okay, so we head up. Oh, whoops. Okay. So we head up. That glitches to here. And then we walk down. There's a snail. Does this get us anything? No. It doesn't. Oh, hold on. This is so trippy. Um, someone did make a map of this palace. I might go uh, sneak a look at that, because goddamn, this place is really confusing. Wait, hold on. Eh? Yeah? God. Wait, hold on. Yeah! Oh, fuck! Alright, time to go find a map. Oh boy. Hey, uh, so, I took like a week-long break. Because I got stuck, but I found this blue key. I don't know exactly what this solves for me. I also found a map. Apparently this uh, this place is one of the only ones that is not, like, randomized. Wait. Okay. Which means that you can reliably use a map on this area. Explosion... Oh my god, no. <laughs> That's horrible. Alright, what now? Need the blue key to stop the channel. Okay. 
Okay, well, I've got the blue key. Perhaps I should go this way? I saw a cool looking ladder. Oh, wait, right. So here. Now we're just straight up clipping through walls, huh? Whoa. Ah. Uh huh. Damn it. I was hoping that I wouldn't have to take those. So, yeah. Enemies only respawn if you leave the whole dungeon, which I haven't done yet. The whole thing is built in such a weird way. And that's the way out. That door right there is. Oh, boy. Okay, so now I just need to find that elevator, I guess? Or the ladder, rather. Okay, so that leads me in a big circle. It's not through here. Boy, this is con you can see why I would need a map, because this is a very, very confusing place. I could jump on it to avoid it. Oh boy. Alright, guess I'm gonna be doing some more testing. Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Um, so it's been about two weeks since I last recorded on this inception, and uh, about like, oh god, I don't even know, four hours of gameplay. Chapman fired me for being bone idle, so let me help you out here. See those doors down there? Kill all the monsters on the screen for them to open. So it's been like three hours, or three or four hours, and I've been playing this game all the way. Like, I'm still just playing the same fucking game. I don't even know if this is the right way. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. So here's the deal. I looked up like four walkthroughs and uh, one of them was a video. I had to find a map of this fucking area. Oh my lord. I'm just playing around with my music settings now. Oh god. Where do I even go now? What do I do? I forgot what I was doing. Oh, my Lanta. Okay, so what does the green key actually allow me to do? Like I said, I've been I've been playing just trying to do this shit for so long that I forgot what I was trying to do with this key. Oh, brother. I accidentally left the dungeon a couple of times, like... Okay, so I go back here. Where is there a door that I could not open? I have forgotten. I'm like broken. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a broken man. Oh, there. This is all new. Okay, I still don't have the real map for the dungeon. But that's okay. And I gotta kill these fools. Wow, um, I'm gonna need to put a real shield on, I'm just kidding. Whoops. God, she's being axe murdered. Stop pinning her, that's my girlfriend. Thank you. There you go. Oh, that filled her up all the way, that's cool. Okay. I'll be honest, I probably could have and should have stretched Selfie out to like 10 episodes or so. 
Panic room. Oh, back to the uh, shield. Glad I got a lot of use out of it. I just wanted to see if it would do anything. This food is still warm. Chairman's nearby. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, this is the end of the game, right? Okay, chairman time. Ah, you've arrived at last. I forgot his voice. It's been too long. I did everything you asked of me. Oh, now it's time for my return on investment. I came here to stop you, not reward your sick power trip. What? But I did it all for you. If you really did it all for me, then I want you to go back to your bank and donate everything to charity. No, I already sunk too much capital in sinking this capital city. <laughs> At least bleed enough cash to cover my costs. You still have more wealth than everyone on this island. What would you even do with more? You're refusing to pay up? That's a breach of contract. That makes me... <laughs> Capitalist pig. You, you insolent startup, I will liquidate you. And now he's Mammon and Gammon. I'm too big to fail! Okay, if I know anything about a Ganon fight. Okay. Oh man, this track is hot. Is that what I... Yep. Oh. Okay, not a shield then. Oh, it's a bull market. That's what he, That's what the pun is. A bull market is whenever the stock market is doing well. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, Mammon is a demon from the Bible, I believe. And... Gammon is just a pun on uh, Ganon, who is he? He's a playoff of. Ganon is usually the boss of the uh, Zelda games. Oh, he just socked me! Oh God! Ooh, now we got two bull. Sorry, I'm focusing in hardcore, but I'm so happy to be finally beating this game. The first episode actually just came out, so I've left this pretty late. Can I go up now? Damn. The thing is, I'm not sure if any of the bosses can kill me. Because my health regenerates so quickly. I think so, at least. I actually haven't been able to look at my health. Because I said that, and I was like, how, how fast does my health come back? And I'm not sure if it has yet. Three? That's the rule, right? I can't believe he just fucking sucker punches me. Capitalist Pit- this, this is a great character. Like, this is a good boss. The fight's cool. It's a good play on Zelda. The puns are all on point, by the way. Damn, clip Wow, there's a lot of bulls. Okay. Dude, fast. Okay, this is this is impossible. Should I jump it? Yes. That's impossible to dodge at least. Got to focus. Ooh, nice. Oh wait, now's the actual boss. Dollars! Hooray! Power of wealth. One of the fatal door powers. Wealth is more easily obtained. Hundred bucks! Chairman's heart. Even the chairman's rotten heart permanently increases your disdain. Uh-huh. Ooh. I'm ready to end this, Lena. The question is, are you? Of course. There's only one way to fix the glitch. The story must come to an end. A true game over. 
Astro will restart beginning anew when the final challenge is overcome. And that's you. You're the final evil, the mother of archangels. Well, yeah, but now that's you, idiot. Egomaniac. Archangel Devlin. I will kill you to put everything right. Delvin, I've died many times already to get here. I wonder if she says that if you don't die. Considering the replayability in this game, maybe she doesn't. Every time the glitch comes back just as it was before. It's a persistent taint on our world and there's only one way to remove it. <gasps> Yo! I just need to blow the dust out. No, I'll save everyone. Shut up and drive. Oh, man. <laughs> This game's music is so fucking good, y'all. Oh, whoa. Oh, he's doing things all the other Archangels were doing. Yeah, these are all attacks of the other Archangels. Oh, my health is not great, though. Oh, I'm regenerating, so that's good. Alright. Then he spins him. Tap. Fuck. Okay. Oh, he's putting his hands into the ground. Those are his fingers that he's hitting me with. That's creepy. Oh man. This is a cool design. I can't believe this guy's fucking name is Devlin. <laughs> Imagine carrying a baby for eight to nine, uh, eight to ten months. He comes out, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna curse this bitch with the name of Devlin. Oh god, I'm fucking it up. My joke was too funny to me. No guarantees for everyone else. Yo, this is fucking track, man! This is some fucking hopes and dreams save the world shit. Oh god. Oh god. Hold it together, Alfred. Do it for all the lesbians. Of which there are at least two. Lena and Paige. Paige is a great lesbian name. I'm not saying that, like, all people named Paige are lesbians, or even that all lesbians are named Paige, but I know three Pages who are lesbians. Granted, one of them's a streamer, and one of them's a character in this game, but... You know, it's one of those things. A constant of the world. Also, they all have something to do with redheads. Two of them are in love with redheads, and one of them is a redhead. So they're like, hey, if you have a redheaded page, just... If your gaydar starts going off, you know why now. Oh god. Come on, don't, don't botch this moment. Or maybe actually dying here might not change anything. Oh god. Oh boy. Because, like, he's been talking about how, like, I have to kill you, and Lena's like, No, you idiot. I've died a lot. Nothing actually happened. Uh huh. Okay. So, is that phase one? It's the only one end one the way, Lena. Who? Oh boy! Oh, that's the map behind us. That's the map of of Aster. Oh god! See, the thing is, with a lot less space, to, they have a lot less space to move, but that means that they're actually easier to track. Theoretically, at least. That's new. Is he, like, farting? Oh, 
Oh boy. Shit, man. Oh boy. All right. Oh, the floor. <laughs> All right. Game. The game is being beat soon and now. I'll see you guys then. Hey everyone, welcome back to the fucking hottest track in this fucking game. God damn, I love this fucking group. We're in uh, phase three now. A lot of rocks. I was reminded that you could just do that. And also that you could do this. And look, it just hurts them the whole time. I like swiping at him, just because it feels more, like, real to me. If you stick a sword in a guy, it'll hurt him, though, so, like, I guess it's fine. See, so, yeah, this is this is apparently the way to do damage. I saw a fuck. I saw a speed run. Well, you know. That's the idea. It appears that he's saying this can only end one way, Lana. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, he's attacking me with my own shit. Oh, those are my hearts. Um, I need those. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Bombs do damage, so that's good. And the sword still works, actually. I can still use my shit as well. Oh, man. Mm. Hey, everyone. So, um... I... Ooh. All right. Uh, so I hopped out to... Try and do some side quests. There's this guy called the Traveling Merchant that only spawns in uh, the palace, I believe. But at a certain point, well, after you talk to him, rather, he'll just show up somewhere else because he's a merchant who travels. And I could actually buy some stuff off of him. So I just want to see if it's possible for me to go get some other stuff. Since I do actually have a bunch of loot now. Um, for one, I actually wanted to see if it was possible for me to go do that side quest, that big trading side quest. I've heard much of it, you see. Carve pumpkin and sprinkle with blood. Gordon. He's a pumpkin. Alright, not better than Paige. But like, no one is. Where is the guy who has the water? Or, who needs the water, rather. I went back to the strength tunic because I don't think the uh, regen tunic does it fast enough for me to actually get any benefits off of it. I've already done this, right? Yeah, I have. Of course I have. It's a black and touch. So yeah, I'm like hella lost. Maybe if I find that bear. Yeah, that's Bruce. Here we go, it's the bear. Oh man, both of these are really good. Alright, that's probably all that I can grab from now. So now I may as well just stock up on bombs and then try the final boss again, which means that I can take a break on recording.
Okay. I stopped recording too soon. The man is here. Get a pen, let's get down to business. Here's a free sample. Forged deed. So I still want this. So I think I can take this to here. Is that a deed? I'll tear it by briefcase and all its contents. I don't care if it's illegitimate, I'll just trade it with an investment bank. Go take back these. Here's an empty briefcase. Okay. Now I've actually got to walk through open. All right. Where is the rest of it? Oh. We take it to the traveling shopkeep. Who I believe is... Where's this fool at? I think we do a hop. Nope. Do a hop here. And then we use the Google Glass. Fuck. There we go. That briefcase would be useful. Hmm, how about my shirt? Smelly shirt. Ugh. <laughs> um... Okay. Now, I believe somewhere around here there was a guy who needed a shirt. I've forgotten where, though. See, I shouldn't have done this all weeks apart. This guy. You brought me a shirt? Thank you. He even smells musty. Bear claw. Okay. Uh huh. So apparently we head south from here. Oh, shoot. Fine, I can manage. Oops. Nice. Oh, yeah. So what is he? He has Gordon, who I think has... I already have. So yeah, I use this seed, which the guy actually mentioned, the person who uh, brought this seed to the Steam forums, actually made a point of mentioning, yeah, this is a seed where you can only get certain items. You can only start this big, long super side quest that you actually need to get the good ending uh, very late in the game. Oh, huh. Is that the edge of the world? Sure is. Oh yeah, fill me up. Oh, this lady. I guess it's not directly south. I guess I could go to the regular shops and buy shit, but... What the hell's happening? Hey, what the hell's happening? I, uh, I can't move.
the hell was that? I like glitched myself in and out of the water at the same time so I couldn't stop taking damage and drowning. Which was pretty lame. Oh, I took snail damage, snail poison. Snoison, if you will. Well, luckily I have my healing too and all. Because that's the last thing that I need for this whole side quest. Is it this? Oh boy. So I just need to wait for the snail to slime over to here. But you had better. Come on, little snail. Oh, he's gone. Oh, cool. <laughs> Interesting. You know, I actually can't do the main, the, the very end of that side quest, which means that I may as well skip it. Hey, let's go back to the palace. I'll come back in whenever the boss is near dead. Hey, so <laughs> we're here. <laughs> hey, uh, I, 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 I took like eight attempts on the boss and then I went out and grinded some more and now I'm back here. If you don't die, Aster is surely lost. You're no hero, Devlin. All this happened because of your pathetic need to feel important. You didn't care about Lanth, you wanted to manipulate him. You didn't care about the danger Aidfridge presented to others, even after being warned. And look what it made you. Not a hero, but a monster. Game cartridge. Devlin's heart. <sighs> wow. That's it, huh? So, um, this actually happened in Homestuck. Um, so first of all, actually, you know what? Let's make a choice. This must be end of our story, then. I thought it was just the beginning of us, Lena. Oh, no. I'll miss you. But my archangels will get to live again. So... Oh man, that scythe attack is one of hers and Devlin stole it. <laughs> Lennon learned the truth about the Archangels too late. The Prince's power of compassion holds a secret that may help her next time. Wow. Tom Cox and Jay Bayless. You guys did fucking awesome. Joel Bayless and Andrew Kay. You guys also did great. There were four guys on the staff, and two of them are brothers. Wow. Um, so first of all, for me, um, that might be one of the best games of the year. Uh, wow. Goddamn wow. Um, so, if you use that power of compassion on the, like, monster forms along with a special item, you are able to uh, pacify them and beat the Archangel without killing them. So the Archangels remain alive. And if you do that for every boss, then, well, you, you, you don't kill any of the main bosses. And then that gets you the good ending. 
Um, however, to do that, you need to do that whole side quest that I did at the very end there first. I just wanted to show that it could be done. Um, so it's on me for setting the world to the way it quote unquote should have been. But hey, it's up to you guys to do the world right. This one and the real world, but right now we're talking about this one. Um, buy this fucking game on Steam. Holy shit, this is awesome. The last puzzle is so brain-bustingly hard. I needed a bunch of different walkthroughs to help me get through it, but that's just because of me. Um, I imagine, like, a person whose brain works would have a much easier time with it. Um, I only played with one art style. Like, let's take a look here, shall we? So look, it totally changes everything. The frame rate is much higher than it could have been on a Game Boy. So yeah, look, this is the room. See, look at it. Isn't this great? All right. Special guest star ending. I'm going to show you guys what the other ending is if you hit no. Because I don't know what it is. Now, I actually um, did myself a little something. These tracks still sound good in the, in the crappy chip tune. Okay, so, strength tunic, bombs instead of the glasses, so the bombs will also destroy the stuff on the floor, and since the whole phase is spent doing this, he doesn't do anything, so if you destroy a lot of them, or in some cases all of them, that's his entire phase over. Just trying to squeeze as much damage as I can out of these arrows. Whoops. Well, that's okay. The strength tunic makes my sword do more damage. If I had a better sword, this would be a whole lot better. And then, yeah, that scythe attack is actually one of Lena's, because Lena's real weapon is the scythe. Oop. So you may notice I'm taking a lot of damage, but that's okay. Because I bought, um... Aw, oh, Lena's so cute. I bought, uh, eight healing potions. Wow, is that my entire health bar? You bet it is. Okay. So I think if you are able to hit them from the front, it destroys way more of them, or has a higher chance to destroy them. So that's where we are now. Oh man, this fucking track is so good. All right. Might be able to hear me getting fancy on my keyboard. Oh my god, if you're out of arrows, she just hits with a bow. I didn't know that she did that. That's really funny, actually. 
All right. Let's put one of these on the bar. Whoops. There we go. Oh god, I just threw it at him. Oh wait, never mind. Okay. That has to get off. were more games that honestly had, like, legitimate texture packs, you know? If you don't die, Esther is surely lost. Oh, look at her. She looks cuter in the 32-bit art style, but the 8-bit one is pretty good. <sighs> Alright. No. Oh. Wow. Huh. Yeah, Tom Coxon's on here three times, Jay's on here twice, Joel's on here once, and Andrew Kay's on here once. I assume he helped uh, Joel with the music. Maybe he did the 8-bit remixes. But yeah, um, wow. That was London's Inception. That game was awesome from start to finish. There are a few rough parts, but the novelty of being able to play a roguelike Zelda is... I think that makes up for it, because it's really cool. The whole concept is just so unique. Um, I've never played a game like this. Apparently, one of the more recent Zelda games actually does play like this, which I didn't know about. Um, but hey, I like this. There should be more of this. Um, Bitten Studio? Byton Studio? Whatever they are, whoever they are, uh, please give them your money. If you can, buy the game directly from their itch.io website, because Steam is a vampire. Um, although I understand it if you want to get those sweet, sweet Steam achievements. Um, yeah, goddamn, this game is so fucking good. Also, I really like how casually lesbian it is. That was very good. I recently watched that um, lesbian uh, Christmas movie with Christian Stewart. Uh, and you know what? I'm, I'm, I am up for 2020 and 2021 being the start year of casual lesbianism. You know, just if we can get casual sapphism started, here's, here's, you know, this is, this is, this is the first brick in that wall. But yeah, I have been Alfred and this has been too long of a video. I was going to try to cram this in with a bunch of other LPs in December, but I ended up canceling one of my LPs. I was going to let's play doom, but I ended up uh, canning that and just skipping right to XCOM spoilers um, because it December would have been too bloated. And like, man, I really should have just allowed myself to do 30 minute episodes for this. Because I feel like it would have flowed a little better. Um, but yeah, so we have five, what? Hour long videos. Not pictured the eight or so hours I spent bumbling off screen. But yeah, this is a very good game. Very replayable as there are more endings that I didn't even get and didn't even tell you about. I think there's a third ending that is different from uh, the yes-no game cartridge and the uh, good ending. I think there's a separate ending from there. There's two art styles and soundtracks to play it through. Like, this, this is a game with a lot of good in it. So, if you're up for it, this is, this is something that I would say it is definitely worth spending your money on. But yeah, uh, until next time. I have been Alfred. This was Lena's Inception. And I'll see you guys next time.